Google and Microsoft are locked in an all-out AI arms race. Google's new AI assistant is battling for office productivity supremacy. Will they finally be able to dethrone Microsoft? Or is Google still behind the curve? Welcome back to This Week in AI. Today we've got a jam-packed video looking at the latest news in the world of AI. From billion-dollar valuations to new assistant rollouts, there's a ton of groundbreaking news, so make sure to stick around to the end. I'll be covering OpenAI's meteoric revenue growth thanks to ChatGPT, Google taking on Microsoft with its new AI assistant, Baidu launching its government-approved chatbot in China, and much more. As always, timestamps are in the description if you want to skip around. Make sure you stick around until the end to find out more about our new weekly AI newsletter launching soon. Subscribers will get access to an exclusive course, so make sure you sign up. Now let's get into the latest AI news. First up, it seems ChatGPT is turning out to be quite the cash cow for OpenAI. According to reports, they are set to generate over $1 billion in revenue in the next 12 months, much faster growth than they themselves expected. Just last year, they made $28 million, but now they are raking in over 80 million a month from companies licensing the technology and individual subscriptions. Earlier projections saw 200 million for this year and 1 billion in 2024, but it looks like they'll hit that billion figure well ahead of schedule. Between one and two million subscribers are paying $20 a month to access ChatGPT models, and big players like Microsoft are licensing the tech too. With ChatGPT still being the most visited AI chatbot site, OpenAI looks poised to keep riding this revenue wave. But will these almost eye-watering computing costs eat into profits? And with Microsoft getting 75% of profits until its 13 billion investment is covered, how much will OpenAI really get to keep? I guess only time will tell exactly how lucrative this AI boom ends up being for OpenAI. Next up, Google announced the rollout of its AI assistant, Duet, across all workspace apps including Gmail, Drive, Docs, and more. It acts like a helpful collaborator, turning outlines into slides, making charts and proofreading documents. One way to think of this new AI assistant is a combination of Clippy's friendly guidance with ChatGPT's creative flair. But Duet won't come cheap with Google charging $30 per user. Rival Microsoft charges the same for its AI assistant Copilot. The challenge is that AI still makes mistakes, so be wary when dealing with critical data. If Duet invents sales figures, you're in trouble. With the launch, Google is directly taking on Microsoft. These AI assistants are core to the office suites of the future. Both believe AI can revolutionize work. But can Duet really take on Copilot? Or could this be another AI flop for Google, like their release of Bard? Next, Chinese tech giant Baidu has now officially launched its AI chatbot, Ernie Bot, after gaining approval from the Chinese government alongside several other AI companies. Users worldwide can download Ernie Bot, which is similar to ChatGPT, to get help with documents, marketing ideas, and more. However, you need a Chinese phone number to register. Baidu says Ernie Bot hit 1 million users in under 19 hours. Baidu plans to unveil more AI-powered apps soon. CEO Robin Lee says real-world feedback will improve Ernie Bot, but its path has been rocky, especially after disappointing demos. Companies like Baidu had to prove compliance with China's AI rules before launch. Those rules say AI must adhere to socialist values, and training data must come from approved sources. As Ernie Bot takes on rivals like ChatGPT, its development will be shaped by China's authoritarian approach to AI. With Beijing keeping a close eye, I wonder, will Baidu's chatbot usher in an AI revolution with Chinese characteristics? Samsung caused a stir with the launch of its new AI-powered food and recipe app, Samsung Food. The app is available in eight languages across 104 countries. It allows users to search, save and organize recipes, create meal plans and grocery lists, and connect to Samsung smart appliances. It draws on the database of WISC, a recipe app Samsung acquired previously. With over 160,000 recipes at launch, Samsung Food analyzes and standardizes them for easy use. The AI can alter recipes to create vegan versions or fuse cuisines. It suggests personalized daily meal plans based on preferences. You can view nutrition info, send shopping lists to retailers, and use guided cooking mode with appliances. Last week, Samsung aimed for 1 million global users. With its existing appliance customers, Samsung has an edge over rival food apps. Future plans involve syncing with Samsung Health for diet management. By 2024, 
AI Vision will let Samsung Food recognize foods via the camera and provide nutrition details. With their vast resources, I wonder if its app could become the ultimate kitchen companion, or will smaller competitors retain their foothold? Either way, technology continues to transform how we cook. In big news for the open source community, a new experiment by AnyScale compared different language models on their ability to identify factual summaries. They tested the open source Llama 2 against OpenAI's closed models GPT-3.5 and GPT-4. Surprisingly, Llama 270B performed on par with GPT-4, with both near-human level accuracy. Meanwhile, GPT-3.5 struggled due to severe ordering bias. The results show the gap between open and closed LLMs is narrowing. Llama 270B is now a viable low-cost alternative to GPT-4 for factual summarization tasks. Additionally, AnyScale found Llama 2's tokenization requires 19% more tokens than GPT models. Despite this, Llama 270B is still 30 times cheaper than GPT-4 for similar accuracy. By using Ray to parallelize queries, AnyScale rapidly evaluated the models. The experiments highlight how combining Pandas and Ray enables quick but thorough LLM testing. As quality open source LLMs become freely accessible, I wonder, will commercial models retain their dominance? or will a new era of OpenAI emerge? In other news, artificial intelligence bots are now beating capture puzzles, according to new research. A study recruited 1,400 people to test 120 popular websites using different capture formats. Bots solved puzzles with 85 to 100% accuracy, exceeding humans' 50 to 85% range. Bots were also faster, solving in 17.5 seconds versus 18 for humans. This indicates AI can now imitate human vision and cognition to crack captures designed to distinguish bots from people. The results question whether captures are still worthwhile for security, given the usability trade-off. If puzzles are too tough, users give up. Captures may remain viable if the end goal is important enough to tolerate friction. But the technology's days seem numbered as AI rapidly advances, with bots beating humans at decoding squiggly text and identifying images sites will likely need new defenses against automated attacks. The dream of effortless security without annoyance is fading as machines become eerily human. In an exciting development, researchers from the University of Zurich have created an AI drone racing pilot called Swift that can beat human champions. This marks the first time an AI has surpassed human performance in a physical sport. Swift competed against top drone racers on a complex track and recorded the fastest lap time by half a second. The AI uses onboard cameras and sensors to navigate, like human pilots do. Swift taught itself racing skills through deep reinforcement learning and simulation. While the AI excelled at high-speed racing, it struggled to adapt to different conditions, showing limitations versus human ingenuity. Still, this technology could have real-world applications like search and rescue, filming and exploration. As one expert commented, the AI racers are highly talented, pushing human pilots to continue improving. So where does this leave the future of drone sports? Will AI take over, or can human creativity stay ahead? Finally, Google unveiled a new AI tool called SynthID that can detect images created by artificial intelligence. It works by essentially watermarking AI images with something imperceptible to us, but easily identified by AI. SynthID is rolling out first, for Google Cloud customers using image generators so they can tag and verify what's real or synthetic. Google wants it to become an internet standard over time, helping identify AI content across sites and apps. DeepMind CEO Demise Hassabis said SynthID isn't a silver bullet against deepfakes, but a first attempt at detection tools we'll need as AI creativity explodes. It's an arms race though. As SynthID catches on, hackers will find ways around it, so Google will have to constantly improve SynthID like antivirus software. Still, Hasabis welcomes that back and forth if it means better protecting truth and trust online. I wonder, will tools like SynthID really make the web more honest? Or just spark an endless cat and mouse game? Thanks for watching today. If you made it to the end, we're about to launch a new newsletter. The weekly newsletter will cover all the new and exciting things happening in AI and highlight the latest tools and plugins we hear about. As a major bonus, those who sign up today before we launch will get a five-part mini AI chatbot prompting course. We've been using AI since before it came out and have learned through trial and error the most effective ways to prompt. By using our methods and secrets, you can become 32 times more effective at prompting and getting the result you want. Check out the link in the description.
We're your number one source for all things AI. Subscribe to stay up to date and drop us a like and a comment if you liked the video. Thanks for watching.